Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Malone Cargo 12 and how it looks and fits on my 2014 Toyota Prius V. The Prius V has a lot of cargo space, I know. But I also know that sometimes it's not enough and you need a little bit more. And that's where rooftop cargo boxes can come in handy. We're gonna take a look at how it works on the Prius V. But first off the bat, I've driven around with it and I've noticed that my MPGs don't really go down that much. I've gone or noticed a difference of maybe one or two or three, depending on the highway speeds. So we'll take a look at how it works on the car. So the Malone Cargo 12 is a small, compact, and lightweight roof box. This creates space on top of your roof to carry your precious items that you want to keep out of the elements. So we'll talk about things like how easy it is to tighten down onto your roof rack, what it's going to fit, what your capacity is, and what types of items can you store inside. So this only opens up on the passenger side and this is where you can find your lock. So with your included keys, just turn it to the unlock position. That way you can just open it up and then clamp it down to your crossbars. So make sure you have the right roof rack for this box. You're gonna need some crossbars, whether they're round, square, or arrow like mine. That's gonna be perfectly fine. You just need to make sure that they're the right distance apart. Mine almost didn't make the cut because it has to be a crossbar spread of 25 to 28 inches maximum apart. So get your clamps, split them into two, leave the top one aside, and run the bottom one underneath your box and up through the holes in the box. Then you get the red knob and thread it over that bolt and tighten down on the clamp so that the clamp tightens down around the crossbar. You do have a handle included which fits into those knobs. It gives you a little bit of extra leverage when tightening them down. So that's how easy it is to install this cargo box. Really the main downside is since it's only passenger side, you're gonna have to really reach across to reach those further away knobs. And that's what makes this tool a little extra handy. So in terms of dimensions, the exterior dimensions, the length is 55 and an eighth of an inch, and then the width is 31 and a half inches. So there's outside dimensions and then there's inside dimensions. So for your actual inside dimension, it's from one lever to the other. There's 49 inches of space there in terms of length. Now for width, measuring from one clamp to the other, it's gonna be 25 inches for width. And then for height, I really just take the opening of the box it's gonna be 16 inches of height, and that will equate to how much height you have on the inside when you close the door. So for our larger boxes, I say know the length of the box and then know where your crossbars sit so you can calculate if you have enough space to open up your hatch. But with this being a small compact box, that really isn't something you should be worrying about unless you have an unusual fit for your roof rack and your box. The other perks for a smaller roof box is you have some space on the other side for your other accessories. Just remember to add about two inches of clearance to the width of the box just because it takes up more space when the lid is open. But this way you can see if you can install your kayak carriers or even your bike racks. While this box has everything you need for you to use it, including the keys to lock it down, there's some extra tools that I recommend picking up if you do want this box to make your life a bit easier. One is gonna be the Moki doorstep, which I used all throughout this video and whenever I have to work on a roof of a car. Another thing is straps are not included with this box. You can pick up a pair of e-trailer cam buckle straps. They actually fit into where those clamps go to create a strap down point to go around your cargo so it doesn't slide around. And finally, grab your trusty tape measure just to make sure that your roof rack fits since the crossbar spread can get a little tricky and this will not work on all cars. So double check your roof rack to make sure it fits. 
What type of roof rack do you have on your Prius V? I have the Inno Aero crossbars that are 54 inches long. And the thing with the aftermarket roof racks with naked roofs is you can't adjust the crossbar spread. I almost barely fit. I have 29 inches of crossbar spread here, so I had to make sure that my clamps were just on the crossbar enough where it's tight on there, even though it looks like it doesn't fit on the other side. That's super secure. So just make sure that your clamps are facing outwards on your crossbars. Also, how much overhang do you have on your crossbars? If I really wanted to, I could actually have mounted this to the overhang of the bar since you really just need two inches of space. I have it towards the inside just for the aesthetic so it looks more streamlined. But with it in this position, if you have it further out, it's easier to access and also you'll have more space on the other side for other accessories. So from those 54 inch long crossbars, from the end of the box to the overhang, I have about 18 inches of clearance here. I'll lose about an inch and a half once I open up the door, but this is plenty of space for a J-style kayak here or a roof mounted bike rack. So my final thoughts about the Malone Cargo 12 on the Toyota Prius V is I really like how it fits. I'm a little biased because of the high gloss gray and how it almost perfectly matches the high gloss gray of my car, but it also fits really well. It's very compact. It's almost like I don't have a roof box on my roof. As I mentioned, my MPGs didn't go down that much. Plus, I have a lot more cargo space now and I can use my hatch for heavier items. I could use a slightly larger box. I did try the Malone Profile box and that worked out pretty well on my car too. But really is a matter of what are you carrying and how much space do you need and how much effort do you want to put into lifting a box onto your roof. And that right there was a look at our Malone Cargo 12 rooftop cargo box here on the 2014 Toyota Prius V.